Guys, welcome to Wagwan Up. So yes, I got a Harmony Elite Logitech Harmony Elite. I got this in an Amazon fast sale. So I think it retails around two hundred. I think I got it for like one ten or something like that. Uh, so it's getting a little bit cheaper than usual. So I thought, why not just get one? I've been wanting to get one for a while. I've got Philips Hue installed. I got all sorts of fancy remote controls and things um, that are, you know the Internet of Things. So I thought, why not get this as well to control the TV and the um, satellite boxes and the PlayStation, for example, all these kind of things. Um, I don't know if it'll work with the PlayStation, actually. We'll have to find out. But anyway, here's the box. We're going to unbox this bad boy. Um, this is the Harmony Elite. So I think all the little gadgets, so all the components come together. You can buy things individually. I think the big difference with this is that you get this remote. With the other ones, you just use your phone. But this one has a dedicated remote with a touch screen or something like that. Is it worth it with for the remote? I have no idea. But it costs a bit more with the remote. But like I said, it was on sale. Uh, I think it was an Amazon Black Friday or Prime deal. I can't remember one of them anyway. So anyway, here it is. Um, it's a pretty big box, to be honest. Um, let's have a look at the back. And it says, easy, easy on, easy switching, touch, watch movie, and the right devices power on and automatically switch to the right settings, which is pretty cool, I would say. Uh, integrate controls. There's obviously the remote. There's a long range reach, which means... It doesn't need line of sight, I, I'm guessing, maybe Wi-Fi enabled or something. We'll find out once I get it plugged in at some point. Works with 270,000 devices, so it should work with mine. Um, what's in the box? You can see that down there. It says there's a remote. There's a Logitech base. It looks like a power cable times two. A USB cable. Some other kind of funky cable. I don't know what that one is. And some documentation. So, um, otherwise, on the rest of the box, says Harmony, um, similar description, I guess, Philips Hue support, which is cool, Nest support, and I've actually got both in the house, so that's even better. Um, so, let's open this up and see what's going on. It's been sitting on my, well, under my desk, I should say, for about six months just been so busy I haven't got around to like breaking out this bad boy and seeing what's happening so okay don't want to damage the box but here we go here we go here we go we're getting there we're getting there okay I'll put that there Let's see what's in here uh, give me a sec Okay, um, let's open this up, a lot of packaging I guess, lots of layers of packaging, another box that comes out and everything just falls out, <laughs> a little bit messy but, okay. So we've got the plug bit. Okay, so we've got the base for the remote. It looks really well built, to be honest. USB uh, mini or micro, I should say, for the power, I'm guessing, to keep the remote charged. So you can see this little charge. It's like one of these BT phones you get. So let's have a quick look at the remote. Whole load of buttons. Wow, feels very nice, very like um, strong quality build. Very cool, very cool. It's not like your Sky Remote, it actually feels really solid. It's got a bit of weight to it. The build quality and the finish on it is very nice. Um, I'm assuming it's got no power, but that's cool. Um, is there a power button for this, guys? Off and on. It probably needs to be charged up, so we'll stick that there. Look, if you see, it fits super snug, like super. When I mean like, it's like perfectly molded to fit that. It's pretty cool. Put that to the side. We've got this base now. It's kind of stuck in there. Wow, it's proper stuck in there. Okay, so we've got the base for the Logitech. 
I assume is some kind of infrared receiver and Wi-Fi receiver. Um, loads of stickers and if we have a look at the ports so there's a mini USB again or micro USB I can't remember which one's which I think it's micro um, one and two probably for something we'll see what that is it might be for infrared actually pair and reset probably pair to the remote some serial codes and stuff on the back so put that down there so we've got European and the UK uh, plug socket adapters, pretty straightforward, and oh, two Europeans. Okay, yeah, one's for the. There are two plugs. To list, there's a lot of cables here actually. So what we do, what do we have in cables? Okay, so that looks like an infrared receiver that goes in somewhere. So that plugs into the back of this probably. You can see that there, and then we have another one. Okay, so this is just allowed. This allows you to place them around the room so you get good coverage, a good signal coverage to connect with the TV and the devices or the infrared, the, t the devices that are controlled via infrared. Okay, so we've got two plugs as we said. Uh, one is, um, actually we've got two UK ones which is cool. So we've got two powers. One's probably for the remote, one's probably for the base. Pretty straightforward. Let's see what's in here. Oh ripping up the package in one time in it okay so okay it's just the manuals we have a quick look uh just gives you the setup guide and all the bits and pieces and what to do in various languages shows you how to connect it up it should be pretty straightforward to connect up as you can see um the base and the remote probably go not too far from each other the remote communicates with all the tvs the playstations or the devices look you see we've got a little controller on there philips hues on there that's a philips hue bulb the nest stuff so should be pretty cool actually and there's obviously the app it tells you where to get the app from install the harmony app which i'll probably do a bit later uh, how to control everything i've also got alexa and i've got google home in the house so i'll fire it up with those so i can voice control it which will be even sicker yes yes all right pretty straightforward lots of cables most of that is for two power adapters one for this device one for this device um there are two sets of infrared uh signal controllers and receivers i guess there's two sets of those to get good coverage you've got your standard usb power for the um for this bad boy for the remote and you've got a few socket configurations depending on where you are so two europeans and two uk should do the job um, I am looking forward to firing this up, so I'm hopefully going to try and do a video on that when I get a chance. Please sub the channel, please like, send me any questions you have about it and I'll try them out. If there's a problem you've got, let me know. Maybe I've hit the same issue, you never know, so give me a shout and um, we'll see how it goes, man. Oof, loving the remote, honestly, man, sick. Proper loving the remote. I wonder if I can get rid of my Sky remote and replace it with this. Probably, I hope so. That would be well nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching love the video or like the video you can love the video too obviously and sub the channel and i'll catch up with you guys in the next one peace out and love to all